It's no, you can tell you. Who, I'll tell you who. Yeah, it's Barry. I said you, you're, you're telling. Real I was telling yeah. Sissy today. Yeah, ask Bobby Grumbles. Mm -hmm. Well, I've actually uh, rode out with Jack Jet before. Uh, yeah. And, it, and it's on that. Yeah, on that pilot boat. Yeah, yeah. and that's modern. Boat. Yeah, that's right. So it's it's a dangerous job. I'm, I'm praying that that stress. film shows all that. There, yeah, yeah that's it's a lot. A, one of the tellers on the pilot boat. Yeah. It's got pilot it's that Harold, who drove the pilot boat, Harold Lister uh -huh. drove the pilot boat. Yeah. Yeah. Did your grandpa go on that road? Who drove the pilot boat? It's like People like Jack Jett, his father. Well, I, mean, his his well his, I don't know who it was. Yeah. Oh, Lawrence Martin. There you go. Lawrence Martin was drove it. Tommy Hutchins. Uh, but Lawrence Martin is the so, one, and, and, that's one and Paul Jet. Okay, yeah. And Paul, that's Y'all want some Jets. water or mango tea? Uh, just a glass of water. Glass of water. Uh, yeah. But see, Daddy went on in 55. All right, we'll go ahead and... Why don't you do a setup? Um, who's in the room, what date it is? I will. Okay. When you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. My name is Mark Gunn. We're here to interview Linda and Master Paul. Uh, Linda Master Paul is a Matthew, and uh, we have uh, her daughter, Sissy, and her granddaughter, Candace, with us, and we're going to uh, discuss the Matthews family and some of the uh, pilot activity, and, and who knows what else we'll get off the subject on. Um, let's just start, Linda, with, with where were you born, and... and Okay, I was born in Corpus Christi, Spine Hospital, 1939. 72 years old. And when did you, did you live, did, did your parents live in Port Angeles at that Yes, time? yes. Did yeah. they live in Port Angeles for the bulk of their life? All of their life until the last storm and dad had built, rebuilt two times already and this last one he just said he wasn't going to do it. It was too hard on mother and us. We lived on Oaks and Oleander, corner of Oaks and Oleander, all of my life. Right in front of our house they had a slough, which is some cottages there now, and the, the uh, what's that seafood place? Oceans. Oceans of Seafood? Yes. That was nothing but slough. All of that was slow. That's where we would swim. Me and Johnny and Jed and Robert and all of us when we were kids. They lived right behind us, the Brunnerets did. And uh, the thing, Mark, that gets me, I mean, I just, you know, I know that uh, Mark had a lot to do with uh, this Roberts Point Park. Like I said, I went swimming in the slough when I was a kid. Right. I knew both of them, her and Florida. Where did they live is what I want to know. There in that park, where that park has been named after them, after her. Mm -hmm. Where where was it? Where did they live? Out in the ship channel. There's no way. I've got to, somebody has still to this day got to prove to me I got to see where it was. Well, because I know where they live. That's something we'll work on. And uh, but I remember the slew too, where that big uh, Teal yeah. Harbor is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it used to be. In the... Where did they live? That's what I'm trying to find out. Where I know where they lived was what they called in Ragtown. Right. And then they moved right next door to Jesse Matthews. Now and did you, Ragtown, we've heard two different reports on that, Ragtown and Shattytown. Yeah, they called the same thing. They were the same location. Yeah, day. same okay. place. Okay, and your your parents, who were your parents? Sonny and Julia D. Matthews. And Sonny is Anton? Anton Thomas, yes. Okay. And he and was only child. And I got him born at 1914, do you 13. think? 13. 1913? Mm -hmm. And Julia D., where did, um, her last name was Harrison. Exactly, right? yeah. And where was she uh, from? Uh, Ramses Pass. Oh, so she was there, yeah. right, right here. Her father ran the ice plant that used to be here that Pat McNamara's mother, Billy, Billy 
was married to a months to him. That's the guy that had the money. Right. Not McNamara. He did. He owned Port Aransas. Just about. Yes. And uh, they also, uh, my mother and her sisters uh, ran or worked, I guess you would say, the telephone office, which uh, I can't door. keep up with the jet, with the uh, bank on that. It was yeah. right next door. Yeah, it's where what's his name lives now. Yes. Uh, huh? It was Miss Walker's house. Exactly. Yes. Cities, yep. Oh. That's where they lived, mother and them. That's where their little telephone office and stuff was. The ice plant was also the power plant, too. Right, exactly. And so your mother worked there for quite some time? For a telephone office, just her and her sisters, yeah. I had this, they was young. In fact, they told me about, mother told me about, uh, G.K.'s daddy, what's his name? Gail. Gail, yeah. Liked one of my mother's sisters, and then uh, I can't think of this other guy. Yeah, and they'd break out at night going out the window and stuff to see them and stuff. But it was in that house there. Okay. And your father, where was he born? Porter Rancis, Texas. Okay. And Tom Matthews' house. Which was, what? which was where Johnny and Jesse Matthews lived forever. It's right across from Woody Owsley's house. Yes. On Church. Huh? On Church Street. Is that what it is? Yes. Right now, as far as streets, I don't even know. It's right by the street. high school. Yes. Right by the high school. We lived there. That used to be Vera Matthews' house. And my dad was buying it. And we lived there, I don't know how long. Can't even remember that, but not too long, and she took it back. So that's when Dad built that house that he had and on. And so he was born in his dad's house, Tom Matthews. That's in his uh, grandfather's. And uh, he was Tom Matthews was the one that had the floating bar. Is that correct? That's Grandpa. That's, that's Grandpa. That's my grandfather. Right. Yeah. In what? fact, I think he's in there, in one of the pictures in it, my grandpa. There may be some more pictures of that that I haven't seen, uh -huh. but uh, I think we've got two or three of it. Yeah. The, the floating bar, what, what do you remember, what stories do you remember about that? That's really unique. That, yeah. It was only bar in there because it couldn't, what do you call it, you can't drink or something, and so it was out there a little bit small. But they said it was real fancy. He had the brass bar thing, you know, where you put your feet and all of that. And uh, that's where all the sailors, that's where everybody went, you know. Yeah, I heard a lot of jetty workers in those days. Exactly, yeah. What did, uh, what did your... Daddy became a pilot in 1955. And he stayed there until 85. He died in 88. What did he do before working for the Fished. pilots? Fished. And was one hell of a boatman and one hell of a fisherman. They used to fish for $25 half a day and $50 an all day is what they started out with. I think it was even lower than that. But I worked at fishermen. I fishermen. Yeah, I did that too. But I worked at Matthews. Me and Nona Beth, you know, Nona Moore, Maurice D. Wig, and uh, let's see who else over here. Uh, but that's what, that was my first job, you know, Fishman's Wharf. Well, Bill Moore, Bill Moore ran Matthews, did, did he not? Uh, not Bill, yeah, Bill Moore and Aunt Doty, but so did, uh, that's who, when I worked there, because it was on the bath and, and uh, like I said, Marie. And then Uncle Woody, he had Woody's. You know, over there were, were uh, what's that restaurant name on the corner, Candace? Virginia's. Huh? Virginia's. Huh? No. Tra 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 Street. Street. Right. Trout Street, it was over. Now, on the 50s, 
fishing, you know, we everybody knows about the tarpon fishing. That's, right. That was yes. That's that's been that the, was it. Yeah. the spotlight forever. But you know, you didn't tarpon fish in the winter. What did they do in the winter? They fished for had bay boats went to bays. How about duck hunting? Was there a that, lot of yep, that? They did that. Yep. And. Uh, did they work pretty much year round, or did they? Uh, I know Daddy did. You know, I know he did, and it was so funny, Mark. Uh, but I remember almost every. I know we had charge accounts everywhere, especially the grocery store. And I know that Daddy charged all winter, you know, for us to eat and everything, and make all the money in the summertime. That's what most of them did, you know. I remember things like uh, Daddy and J.D. Littleton and picking ducks and stuff. And Daddy had this <coughs> thing, friend of his in Houston. They put all these ducks in the back of the car in the trunk and stuff and drove them to Houston. And I remember Daddy and them saying, oh my God, if we get caught, you know, what's going to happen? Or we're, we're going to jail, you know, because they had all these ducks and stuff. But uh, he, and he also worked uh, on the towboats for Ralston Richards in Randall's Pass. Uh, Is that Lloyd Richardson? Lloyd Richardson, no. that's it, yeah. They were, they were a big company in that Yes, day. yeah. He worked for them. And then uh, Woody Owsley, Got him a job uh, with who was it? Ralston Richards, I think, then. And uh, Daddy stayed there for a little bit. He he was like a boss driving around the car. He said, "No, he's going back fishing." He he didn't like it at all. And uh, Harold Lester is the one that voted him in the Potmans. And he was down in the Matthews Fish House cleaning his motor. And Uncle Harold came in and told him, uh, what are you doing, Captain? You know, Daddy wouldn't be paying no attention. He said, I'm trying to get this motor cleaned up, you know, so I can get fishing. He said, you're going to fish Captain when you can be a Captain? Said it again. He said, what are you saying, Harold? You know, because they were so good friends. We had our ranch and stuff together, what we call our hunting deal. And Savannah, him and Harold, and Billy Sims did too. And, uh, yeah, it makes That's when sad. he became the, the pilot, which, 55. which is really an achievement. Oh, yeah. A anybody so had to be, Yeah, you had to be voted in. And my dad, my brother Tony, was a boatman. And he didn't put Tony in because he drank. And I just, that always really got to me, you know. But there's always reasons for something, you know. Yeah. But he didn't. All he had to do was vote him in, just say, I want my son in there. And he could have been in there. Okay. Did they have to have their master's license, all vessels, all oceans, prior to becoming a, a pilot? No. They just had to know the, the waters? They had to know waters. And my dad is the only pilot in Port Aransas that has ever had that kind of license for any size ship or any waters. Any of the waters he can be. Has he done anything besides Fishing and piloting and my dad? Yes. No. That's no. all. That's his entire life. That's what he's done. Yep. I think it's good. He was, Mark. He was. Uh, well, they say he's the only pilot that didn't hit that bridge. <laughs> we have pictures of that too, where this one Lexington, this one ship was going through, and you can see. You can see, I think it has about as much room on it's each that side close. that you can put your hands down. <laughs> yeah. and was, was your dad on that ship? I can't remember, but I do 
you know that when the Lexington came in, Captain Herbert was supposed to take it. And he asked Daddy if he would take it. And Daddy took it in, you know. He, yeah, he wasn't afraid of not taking no, sh no ship, no nothing, you know. Because like you said, he was good. So we'll, we'll talk on the pilots a little more, but, but I wanted to get to... Uh, I know you had a brother named D. Wayne. Yes. Who was in law enforcement, and um, I personally really liked Dwayne myself. But uh, what what other siblings? Tony. Tony, my brother, and my sister, Billy. She was my half sister. And um, who's the oldest? My uh, me. Oh. Okay. But she is the oldest. Tell me the oldest sibling. Of of all. Is it you or Tony? Me. Okay, and then it's, is it Tony? Yeah. And then D. Wayne. D. Wayne and then Billy, which I believe well, she's the oldest now. My sister's the oldest. Oh, okay. She's and the oldest. Is she a Sims? She is a Sims, okay. yes. And uh, we know D. Wayne is deceased. Yes. Uh, Tony is still with us. Yes. He yeah. lives in Kirby. And what about Billy? Mountain Home. Uh, Billy, she's still here too. Okay. She lives in San Antonio. Yeah, she's 76 years old. I'm 72. Tony's 69. And I think Elaine would have been like 67. He was the, uh, yeah, the baby. He was a baby. Yeah. And uh, of course, we know what uh, Dwayne was law enforcement for all I ever knew. Yeah. Did he, did he do other things? Uh, no. Nope. He never was into the boating? Uh-uh. No. Nope. But Tony was. Tony. Yeah. Yeah. D. Wayne's never done anything but work. Uh, as law. So having something to do with the law. I just find it interesting that yeah, he, he never got it. into the boating at all. He loved it. Yeah. He did. He loved it. Um, but you know what gets me to? Of course, anybody that knows me says, you know, I say what I think. All of Port Aransas, everything that that the Matthews had done, I mean, like they had 10 kids, and every one of those kids had kids, you know, Daddy and Carlos and Nona and all them. And they have never, ever named one street, one nothing, Matthews. He did that street one time down there in front of the uh, dogs. For the dog. And they took it down after three days because they said it was an alley, you know. Well, they've closed it since. You can't even drive uh, it anymore. No, but they have never named nothing after Matthews. Well, you know? I do know a lot of these names you see are because they platted, like uh, the Roberts platted Robert Street and Ed White platted the area where White Street is yeah. and J.E. Cotter platted that. And that's how some of that happened. But, but I, I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, there is some drive going on to... Okay. So, uh, we do think there, we're, the museum is working to try to preserve some of these old family names, and uh, hopefully we'll succeed with that. But it's yeah. it, it's going to be a, quite a mission. Okay, tell me a little bit about your grandfather. Tell me what you know about your grandfather. What I know about my grandfather is um, he was a good man, and. Uh, he was, um, as far as work and what he did, I don't know what he did. You know, he died real young. Like, I think he was like 44, 43, something like that, uh, with pneumonia, supposedly. So you didn't ever meet your grandfather? No, I did not know him. Uh, I'm sure you heard stories about the bar on the water. Oh, yeah. 
that I've heard. Yeah. And pictures, which I just think is genius. Yeah, yeah. And but like I said, I don't know. I didn't know him. I wish I did. Uh, it's real funny because I didn't know my grandmother on my mother's side either. You know, I know her dad and I knew my grandmother on my dad's side. But that's, that's all I knew about. Now, your, your dad, you mentioned he was born in Port Arrangis. Mm -hmm. And in, the, in your grandfather's house, which is over there on Church Street by the high school, where the, right. where the Johnny, where Johnny, Johnny, yeah, place was. And you know that was, I guess at that time that was the outskirts of town. Oh yeah, well, the outskirts of town was uh, up here at uh, going to the beach. Anything past Abbey G? There was just nothing there. Nothing. The cemetery was way out there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, do you have any stories? Do you remember any hearing any stories about uh, your grandfather, your grandmother that you can recall you'd like to share at the moment? Uh, no, not really, Mark. I don't. Uh, Okay, to, to go back to the bar pilots a little bit, how many of the Matthews family can you recall being bar pilots? How many of the Matthews family? Right. I understand Cricker, was he a bar pilot? No. He was not. No. But he was a boatman. He was a boatman. Yeah. And they had nine bar pilots. They would have nine at one time? Yeah, there was nine bar pilots. Can you uh, name some of them? Uh, you said Harold. Yeah, let's start with uh, John Taylor and I'm drawing a blank too. Uh, I'm, I'm drawing a blank too uh, on that. But, uh, let's see. That makes me mad. Uh, was uh, Sim, Tom, any of those? Sim Matthews and it was gone and my dad became a pilot. Uh, but had he been a pilot? Sim. Yes. Yes. He's the one that built the the pilot yeah. house on top of the building. Yeah. Um, as you as we talk, if you come up with more, go ahead and, and you'll probably think of some more or something oh, yeah, trigger when you think more. But uh, I think what people don't realize is is the dangers involved in, in the pilot. No, uh, I don't think they do. Had you heard of injuries or did they, were they injured very often? No, and uh, no, they wasn't. And uh, if they were, there wasn't much of them uh, left to talk. See, Sonny Court's father, Van Court, he fell off the ladder. And I guess drowned, you know. But there was this uh, brother. I just, that's probably prior to your dad being a pilot. 
Yes. That's way back. Yeah. Vancouver. Yeah. And then Sonny became a pilot, his son. And um, there are so many. I just. The, uh, you're familiar with the process of how they get on the boats? Yes. And I know it doesn't matter what the weather is. Rain, winds. They have to get on. They have yeah. to get on and off the boat. Yes. Uh, yeah. If I had to guess, it's probably safer today than it was oh, years yeah. ago because yeah. of handrails and yeah. and uh, the, the pilot boat itself is is a much nicer equipment. What do you remember here? Did you hear any stories? Do you recall any stories about how they would get from one boat to the, to the ship or from the yeah, ship back? Yeah, I know. I've been out there uh, with my dad. The boat goes right alongside the ship and then they jump off of it and grab a ladder. A rope ladder? Huh? A rope ladder? Yeah. Which is probably slick and yeah. just rope and yeah. wood. And then they're on their own. At that point. Uh, at that point, yes. And I guess it's safe to say that the operator of the pilot boat is, is it, that's critical, is, is it not? Oh, uh, yes, I would say so, yeah. I, I suppose. Uh, Daddy would get so mad one time because I came out there and, well, bad weather. And, uh, yeah, I'm scared. He just, want me out there and he said it was too bad, you know, the weather was too bad and stuff. But he went. Huh? But he went. He went, yeah. What about the pilot boat operators? Who do you recall? We talked about some of the jets earlier, but Yeah. Uh, Lawrence Martin. Lawrence Martin? Yeah. Keep going. Any any others you can recall? Uh Tommy Hutchins. Other other members of the Jet family? Uh, I was just dead. Did you mention a Paul? Paul Jet. Is that is that his dad or, or Jack's brother? That's his that's his father. Jack's Jet's father, Paul Jet. And uh Any other pilot boat operators you can think of? Any of the Matthews's? You mentioned the Hutchins. Tommy Hutchins. We haven't mentioned them, but they, every one of those were involved in not necessarily fishing, but barges, tugs, and this type of marine. Is that correct? Fishermen were they? They were more in industrial boat, yeah. industrial marine. Yeah. What uh, What do you remember about the when your dad was a fisherman? Fisherman, he uh, as far as the boats he used. His boat. Did he Did he use Farley boats? Did he build his own boat? He built his own boat. Do you recall some of the names or any of the names, or did no. they were they names? Tony. Tony. That was the name of his boat, Tony. And uh, no doubt it would be a wood hull. You don't remember any details it was about wood. the boat? It was wood, yeah. It was a nice boat. Had outriggers. And was it uh, gasoline or diesel? It was probably yes. all gas yes. in it here. When he retired in 85, from the pilot, did he retire completely or did he do anything? Did he go back to fishing? Or? No, he retired. And yeah. where did they live after they moved from Sea Silly? Francis Pass. And I 
think you stayed on the property, am I correct? So that's the same property y'all lived in as long as you can remember? Yes. Okay. About your age in school? Copy. Mm -hmm. No, she's younger, a lot younger than I am. Skipper is too. So where'd you go to school? Brandon's Pass. Okay. See, they went to Fire Bluff. See, when I went to school here, it went to the eighth grade. Right. The little right. red schoolhouse, the brick schoolhouse. And that's it. We had to send this to Ranzers. Well, when D. Wayne and Tony and y'all, all well, y'all could pick, y'all could say, yeah, I want to go to Ranzers or I want to go to Flyer Bluff. And of course, D. Wayne and them went to Flyer Bluff. You know, he never did go to Ranzers. And I went to Ranzers. Was the reason why is because there really wasn't a road to get there? In the reason time? why we didn't right. is, yeah, there wasn't a school. You know, we couldn't, we didn't have a choice. Because you couldn't because, really drive the Flyer Because, Bluff, right, if I would have had a choice, believe me, I would have went to Flyer Bluff. I hated Ranzers past school. I think mm. we could both relate. Yeah. Sissy and I can relate. And I was trying to think of those pots one ago. I know I one of them ago like this. It was John Teller, Harold Lester, Daddy, Sonny Quartz, uh, Bob DeForest, uh, Captain Fred Herbert, uh, Ole Shepard, and who was that other one? Who's that? C.J. Brumley. Brumley? His dad was a was a pilot, Carl, and he quit when he retired. CJ took it. I think CJ is still there right now. I think he's still piloting. Who's the DeForest? That's the name I have. Yeah, heard. Bob DeForest. He was nobody here. He was uh, out of Corpus. He was just a okay. real, real nice guy and a real. And you shouldn't have heard anything on Ole Shepherd either, or so, Captain Herbert. So the Shepherd was not related to the. No, Shepherd. no. Shepherd here is not. What about pilots way back? Do you remember any names? No, just uh, just Sam and and that one you said. There was two two other old ones. I can't remember. I mean, uh, Cotter was a yeah. far pilot. I yeah. understand. I think so. Did you know Sam? Sam, no. Oh, did I know Sam? Yes, yes I did. Yes, I did. Yeah, he, we went to, yeah, he had his place in Corpus on Louisiana. This is where he lived over there. And, uh, but he did live here when he yes. built the Matthews. Yeah. Where did he live? What was his house? Where does he No, he lived place? in Corpus. Even when he built Matthews? That's, place? yeah, from what I understand. Okay. And uh, his children? His children, Sam, is is uh, Cracker, which and is Florine, which is uh, Edwin, his name is Edwin, Edwin. which is Cracker, and then Florine, which was married to Woody Ausby, right. they call her sister. That's what, that was his kids. Do you have any idea of what Cracker nickname came from? Or? Uh, no. Nope. That's, that's an sure odd nickname. Yeah, Cracker, yeah. Yeah, because his name was Edmund. Uh, no, you know what? I never, that's something that I've never heard why his name was Cricker, why they call him Cricker. Well, actually. Now, Butch would probably know that. You know, I have to ask <laughs> Butch. You know, we, we talk a lot about nicknames, and there was a lot of nicknames through the year, just like Sonny. And, and uh, when I didn't know Sonny's name. Yeah. Nobody does. Nobody does. Really, and uh, when she posted that picture, we're, yeah, we're all scrambling. Yeah, yeah, we're scrambling to see yeah. who it is. I always knew it was Sunny. Yeah. Well, now they have that one picture. Did you show? Is that the one you have of him climbing up the ladder with the green suit on? I have it, but I'll, it's on my computer. With the green. 
Was the uniforms the green that we saw in the picture? Was uh -uh. It? No. That's just what he They didn't wore. have a uniform. He just yeah. wore the green. He just wore he just went and believe some of the things. He had these damn checkered pants and stuff that he played golf in. Those are all golf clothes. That, you know, the different color shirts and all that. Yep. So your dad was a golfer? Yes. Where did he play golf in those? In days? Aransas and Carpus. In Aransas and Carpus. And that yeah. was a sport not very popular. Well, I know. Days. He loved it. Now, my mother and I, we were bowlers. But daddy didn't bowl. He played golf with with uh, Dr. Kirkham and all them, Bill Moore and Carlos. And uh, I'm guessing he probably played poker with oh. Bill Moore and that. Uh, no, he did not gamble. Okay, he tell didn't me. drink. He didn't gamble. Now Uncle Bill and them did. They they partied. They were partiers. I, I've heard stories about the poker games. And, well, and they uh, were some. Pretty good ones, huh? What have you heard? Anything you'd like to repeat? Oh, God, some <laughs> of the stuff, Mark, that they did when they was back there years, years ago when my dad drank. Oh, God, he's, he would go to these uh, New Year's dances, you know, and I'd be right there with him, you know, because, God, he could dance. And that's something that anybody, on, they're all dead and gone now. But I tell you, he was the best dancer I have ever danced with in my life. He had the rhythm. He, I think he must have had some kind of black in him or something. Because he, he do what he could do. And everybody would have said, you know, would tell him that. When I'm saying that, I mean Andorra, right. Bubba, you know, all of them. Where would you have these dances? At the community center. Where the boatman built it. Right. And, uh, my dad was one of them, you know. Before that was the Woodman Hall. No. That, uh, uh -uh. you don't remember that? Yeah, but the Woodman Hall. The Woodman Hall was on the other side of the Right, but I mean, that was... Gas kind of, station. That was kind of the, the I mean, place before... Yeah, it burned not out. a gas. I see, I call it a gas station. It's, it's Ernie's now, or whatever it's called. Bernie's. Mm -hmm. No, not Bernie's. What's this place up here? The, it used to be the gas station. It's, yeah. Uh, right right Brewer. across from Tittles. Brewer. Club. Brewer. The Brewer. Brewer. Yeah. That's where it was. Right behind it. Was, was the Woodman Hall before your time? Uh-huh. No. No, because uh, I never went there, but I know that Mother and them did, you know. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, I poked around trying to find out a little bit about the Woodman Hall because it's a it, it's a you know group of guys an association and I haven't gotten anywhere. Well, it's see, apparently that Woodman. Yeah, yeah, see, I don't think they built that. I mean, as far as the boatmen's or self did that one because that was an old place right behind where where what do you call it, the brewery? You know, right behind there where that washing. Place right. But <clears throat> that's where they would go and meet and play.